Hey, today I wanna to spend some time explaining how foreclosures work. Maybe some of you are in a position where you're actually worried about getting foreclosed on, you've lost your job, you can't make your payments, you're, you're kind of freaking out about it. Let me explain kind of how that process works and maybe put your mind and heart at ease a little bit. I'm also gonna talk about why I don't think there's a massive wave of foreclosures coming. Uh, there's a very different circumstance, the coronavirus is, than what we saw in 2008, you know, happened. So I wanna talk through how this process works and then my opinion on what we'll see happening in terms of foreclosures. First of all, here's how a foreclosure works. First of all, there needs to be notice. So uh, your lender has to notify you, you've missed some payments and they've got to notify you. This happens differently in different states depending on how uh, the states handle this, but you get some notice and then you've got a little bit of time to work out the thing uh, with your lender and kind of make some payment plans, you know, negotiate, figure out a way to get this done. They don't want to take your house. They want you to make your payments. So you work on that. That takes typically months. And right now with the coronavirus, the federal government has passed lots of legislation and will continue to pass it to slow that process down. They don't want people homeless. And so they're committed to making sure that we don't see this massive wave of people getting thrown out on the street. So all of that has to happen first. You have to kind of have the process. And that takes months uh, in the fastest case scenario. Uh, and so now you've got the notice and let's say you can't make your payments. You can't work out a plan. You're, you're in trouble, right? So you've got options. Uh, the first one is to sell your house. Most people have equity. So I want to talk, this is the first reason I don't uh, think we're going to see a lot of uh, foreclosures, and I'm gonna read directly from a study that was done, and if you Google this, you'll find it. Just Google, do Americans have equity in their homes? Yes, they have record numbers of equity. In your specific case, you're probably gonna know if you've got some equity in your home, but in general, here I'm just gonna quote direct, directly, the amount of equity available for homeowners to tap reached a record high, $6.3 trillion, according to a separate report from Black Knight, in August, it defines tappable equity as the share of equity available for homeowners with mortgages to borrow against while still holding 20% of their equity. Homeowners, however, are sitting on their equity more than they have in the past. Just 54 billion compared to that 6.3 trillion in equity was withdrawn first uh, in the first quarter of this year. That is the lowest volume in four years and lowest share of available equity tapped since Black Knight began tracking this metric in 2008. Less than 1% of tappable equity was withdrawn. So in general, people have equity because they haven't been drawing it out of their house. It's been a very different scenario than what we saw in 2008 where people had very little equity borrowing 100% or more of what the purchase price of the home was and that we were standing on a house of cards you know that whereas now we're standing on a really solid foundation people have equity you probably have equity if you're in Arizona or California let us know we can take a look at your property see what it's worth tell you how much equity you do have so that's one option you start missing some payments hey you got you got an option here sell the property that's going to be your best case scenario to get equity out of it is to sell it just to get the thing listed now let's say that doesn't go well right like you can't you don't get it sold or for whatever reason you don't list it and you get foreclosed on here's what doesn't happen they don't just take your house if you have equity then you're going to get that equity back the foreclosure process chews into that equity it's not a great option because there's fees associated with it that get taken out of the equity but at the end of the day if you have equity in your property you get that cash back not the bank so this is good news for the vast majority of people who are afraid of being foreclosed on you probably don't need to be you probably can sell your house and if you can't and you get foreclosed on you'll get some of that money back and that process is again probably going to take a long time so this is a really different cir circumstance than what we experienced in 2008 you have options contact us if you have any specific questions if you're worried about hey i don't think i can keep up this house let us know sooner than later we can advise you on the market conditions like today my advice would be sell sooner than later but that's changing rapidly the market is is incredibly volatile right now and so we're advising people differently depending on what day of the week it is it's pretty crazy right now but there, you do have options. I don't want you to be afraid. Uh, you've got possibilities. There's also a possibility of refinancing, all kind of other options available to you as well. So I don't see a big wave of foreclosures happening. People have equity and the markets are still liquid. One concern people have is like, well, what if the markets freeze up and you can't, you know, people can't buy houses because the banks aren't lending. Again, the Fed, the Fed and, the, and the government and uh, the senators and congressmen have worked so hard to inject money into this economy. I, I just don't think they're gonna let the financial system freeze up like that. I, I think they'll take the steps required. And this is temporary. We're gonna get back to work. Things will be moving soon enough. So things will stay liquid. We may see a temporary time where that's not the case. I think we'll almost surely see that. It's not happening now. We probably will see some of that. But if you need to sell, I think you're gonna be able to. The market's still really hot right now. It'll cool down, but I don't see that happening uh, in a sense where you're really gonna lose equity. Things don't change that quickly. I've done other videos explaining why house prices turn more slowly. You can take a look at those, tell them a little bit more about why your house prices probably aren't dropping a lot right at the moment. So take a look at those for more information and reach out if you've got any questions. Be happy to help you out. Thanks so much.